Today, I learned what the Tetris effect is after thinking I was suffering a psychotic break. I went skydiving a couple days ago, and while I'm sitting in the classroom, out of nowhere, I'm just like, there are puzzle pieces everywhere. I'm seeing puzzle pieces in everything. I saw them in the clouds while I was driving on every single surface. I'm like, this is it. I knew it was going to happen. I finally lost my mind. So I'm like, okay, it's probably because I've been doing this black puzzle for two days nonstop. I've had it on my dining room table for over a year, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to get it over with, pop a bunch of Adderall, and just do it nonstop for two days, right? And so I did that, but it gets weird because... I started seeing the puzzle pieces and everything two days after I stopped working on it. But the weirdest part is that other people saw it too. As in they were so clear, I'm like, you see it too, right? And she wasn't working on the puzzle. I begged her. She didn't want to do it. As in besides whatever I had going on, they were actually there. The universe is playing games on me. And the Tetris effect is when you spend a lot of time doing the same activity repeatedly. And it gets its name because people start seeing Tetris blocks falling everywhere in their dreams and their thoughts on every service after spending a lot of time doing Tetris. I used to only surround myself with people who could keep me stimulated or who I could learn from, and so most of my best friends have always been men. In my experience, men have always known more about more topics. But if you ask them about things that didn't pertain to them or that they weren't interested in, they didn't know anything about it. But more importantly, we're willing to learn. Now, something that's really important to me in relationships is feeling safe because I always feel like something's out to get me because it's always been like that but i never felt safe until i got into a relationship with someone who was very much a fighter and i would feel safe until shit hit the fan and then i was the one who had to solve problems i was the one who had to keep us emotionally together i was the one who got shit done then i realized i didn't feel safe next to the person who could fight everything that came their way or could solve problems using money i've had this bookmark for months because of all the big useless philosophical questions this is my top three but i can never add anything to it because neither of them have ever made sense to me to be honest you know you mainly have empiricists who are like no it's free will i see myself causing things every day forgetting that those causes cause other things the cause and effect which is why rationalists think no we don't have free will and remember fate and determinism are not the same thing you also have many kinds of determinism but the rationalists also just fail to see what's in front of them disregarding genetics we see ourselves cause things we think we have free will what's the difference between thinking you have free will and actually having free will would you be able to tell the difference no probably not you've never known anything else